Republican establishment to conservative and faith-based voters, drop dead. After the predicted red wave failed to materialize on November 8, it's safe to believe that not only are a large number of conservative and faith-based voters depressed, they're also shocked that the Republican leadership, which failed so miserably, will remain in power once again. There is no doubt that many of these voters hold Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, and Republican National Committee Chair Ronna McDaniel largely responsible for an inexplicable and humiliating loss. Given every advantage because of rising violent crime, supply chain shortages, escalating gasoline and food prices, record inflation, a looming recession, an open border allowing millions of illegal migrants to cross into the United States, a faltering and sometimes confused president, and the potential for a nuclear weapons exchange with Russia, the Republicans still blew the Senate and barely won the House. Many conservative and faith-based voters can easily shout out the main reason for the GOP's shameful loss. You actually have to believe in something. You have to walk the walk, on the rule of law, sovereign and protected borders, smaller government, lower taxes, the need for fossil fuels and lower energy prices, anti-woke education, a strong and non-woke military, accountability, and faith. And yet, even in that relatively simple assignment, the Republican establishment and leadership has failed them. As the Democrats blanketed American college campuses, knocked on dormitory doors, sent Democratic candidates and organizations to meet with students, saturated TikTok and other social media platforms with their campaign mantras, taught mail in voting for dummies classes, and actually gave these college-age voters the respect they deserve. Where were those leading the GOP? McConnell, McCarthy, McDaniel and others seem to be missing in action. The Republican establishment and leadership should take notice of the bright red warning light that's blinking on the dashboard of their damaged, Victory Express. The light signifies the percentage of conservative and faith-based voters who are sick and tired of being told to drop dead and simply sat out these midterm elections. So, here's a question for the Republican establishment and leadership to ponder. Because of your incompetent, duplicitous actions, how many conservatives and faith-based voters do you think will sit out the 2024 election? Please subscribe to receive notification about new videos. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching.